Hello everybody and welcome back to Workers and Resources. Um, I've decided to start again <laughs> because I've made a new map. Yay! Something I've been looking forward to doing since, well, for quite a while now, is being able the ability to make your own maps. Um, I'm going on hard money again, but I want the reactions and the fires at normal. Um, it in 1960 and we'll go with a minimum amount of people um yeah i managed to make a map i've spent the last week or so doing it it's taken quite a while um we'll have a look at the map here this was something i didn't realize you could do <laughs> i always get this map bigger so we've got a kind of like island nation um with building uh, with villages and things on either side now there's only four border connections there's one on each border um, so there's two on the NATO side so there's one here and one here which is the NATO side and there's one here and one here which is the Soviet side um, and the medium connections as well so I thought I'd try and make it a little bit tricky get rid of this so we can see now, I've put in loads of towns, <laughs> this was really, really, really time consuming, it's taken me ages to get all this laid in, um, I did plan on, I was kind of planning on putting more sort of little villages in between here and there, but it's, it's, it's just taken me that long to do, that long to make, it really, really is a pain, <laughs> um, but yes, so, we have mountains around the outsides. Uh, in those mountains, there is coal and iron. There is a bit on either side, um, so you can get to. We're just looking at a sort of decent coal seam around here. There's plenty of iron up here as well, um, so it's relatively easy on that. However, all the oil is in the middle, <laughs> so it's all on this top big island. And around this big island is a dirt road and some little villages. So, just a few sort of small villages with a few people living on them. So pretty much undeveloped. I don't think I built any bigger towns. No, no, it's all just little ones. So there's a few cathedrals around the place. A few sort of nice town areas. Um, however, I haven't put many sort of roads in and around the towns. I've just done mostly footpaths. Like around here, there's a there's a road going around that one through the middle, but some of them are just purely footpaths. At most of them, just purely footpaths with a bit of a road in the middle. So there's a bit of a challenge with uh, <laughs> where everything is. So yeah, basically, you've got this big island full of oil, coal and iron ore either side, there's a little bit of coal on this side, plenty of iron, there's more coal on the other side and a little bit of iron, so as you can see all the coal's up here but there's a good chunk here and iron, there's a good chunk of iron here but most of it's down here and then all the oil. So I haven't put things too easy to grab but um yeah, relatively easily. I've put a town up here, sort of closest to the border. If anybody wants to sort of use that and start building out from there, it's handy for the Soviet border. And there's a bigger town here in Pidansk. I've just left all the town names as whatever they generated as. Um, there is two town names under the river, which you can remove in here by doing this, but unfortunately you can't do it in the map editor at the moment. There's another one over this side. Yeah, so I wasn't able to... Um, yeah, I wasn't able to actually rem remove them in the map editor, unfortunately. And they just came about when I built the, the bridge across, because I, I did it before I put any of the towns in. So that's relatively close to the border as well. 
I've got some nice space out around here to top, build some farms and some industry and stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm still a little bit unsure about my location, <laughs> where everything is. It's weird when you do the map, because I, I thought the map was just rotated 180 degrees. It's not, it's just actually flipped vertically. I did actually intend on having the river going that way across the map. <coughs> But it doesn't matter, it's come out pretty well, I think. I quite like it. Looks good. There's some uh, nice big lakes around the place. There's little towns all over the place. Nice little places you can go and build around. Oops, thank you, autosave. Um, like this town here. This It needs roads going around it. And I think... I might actually go and put them roads in before I release the map. When I release this video, this map will be available on Steam. I'm going to put a link down there below in the description. Um, but that'll probably be tomorrow. Not tomorrow from when you're watching it. Tomorrow from when I'm recording it. Um, so I think I might go and spend half an hour or an hour or so and just put, actually put some streets in these towns just to make it a little bit more little bit easier on people especially if you're starting on hard money because you're gonna have to spend money redeveloping the towns immediately I see somebody I thought I saw somebody moving about oh yeah somebody going to church <laughs> um so yeah I might I might actually I probably will actually I think I'm gonna go and put some roads in a few of these towns I got to the stage where I was just kind of rushing it to get it finished <coughs> We just oh we're on play as well um yeah it was just a lot of work good though that we can make our own maps now a lot better i just i would like some kind of blueprints for towns within the uh map editor not in the main game but in the map editor just have some you could just go and plonk a town down and have it all connected up ready that would be that would be handy. Um, I'm going to start over here. It's just because there's easy border connection here. We've got the electricity. We've got a medium. All the customs houses are medium. Like I said, there's only four of them. There's one on each border. Um, so there's only a single train route coming in, but you can get three trucks in there. So keep it limited. <laughs> Stop people from building hella ridiculous <laughs> junctions and cities around the uh, around the borders. I just think they're, I think they're kind of odd. <laughs> this it feels a bit smaller. This map. I think it's just because of the way that I've, I've made it, really. Because um, there's a lot of area around the outside that's all sort of mountain and hilly, and again in the middle. But there are plenty of sort of flattish areas ready for you to ready for you to expand and build into. So like this area is ripe for development. There's a nice big area down here, you fit some farms in, you get a decent farm in and around here somewhere. So I have put some thought into where you're gonna be able to position your stuff and where you are gonna be able to grow, but it is limited as well because I wanted it not to be completely flat not to be too easy either um, yeah I wanted I wanted nice scenery but um, also with some challenging aspects you know what of the ability to have room to actually to expand and grow your areas into you can build some reasonable sort of sized towns you're not going to be able to get many towns in there, but that's where all the oil is, so be oil fields in there, in and around. And then maybe build your town down here or something. So, that's the map. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to upload it onto Steam. Um, I'll do that. So it will be available. Like I said, there's a, there'll be a link down there in the description. Um, so if you want to go and play along, you can do. Um, yeah. 
I don't think I've got anything else to say about this. The maximum population you can have is around 10,000. It's just over 10,000. Um, set at the minimum, like I've got it set, you've got 1,200 there. And they're spread out around the map. So I'm doing that because of the... As soon as I start building towns, they just, they just start growing rapidly anyway, so... I don't really need loads and loads of people. A thousand is plenty to start off with. So there's the map. Right. Well, that's a map preview. Uh, just a quick, very short episode. And I'll, um, I'll be back really soon with the beginning of the building. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.